Okay. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. It just took a little bit. Wait, why is this side not pulling in? There it goes. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here. Bring you guys another episode of People Playground. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we are back with a brand new update. Now, uh, the uh, stick figure guy over here, he looks pretty happy about the... Uh-oh. Okay, I think I've already broke him. Hold on. Oh, we can fix this. So, the update's actually a, a pretty awesome update. There's some new items. Uh, there's a couple things to explain here. Hold on, let's go. Uh, there we go. All right, so we got this person back up. Now, you're probably wondering on the right side, why do I have an android that has a flamethrower? Well, there's a good reason. Hold on, let's go and go. Oh. Does that... Oh. Wait, uh, uh, wait, that isn't, that doesn't work quite like the way I thought it was going to. Okay, Mr. Android, go ahead and stop. <laughs> Are you okay? Wait, does he still have the, oh, he must still have the life serum in him. Oh, actually, this is good. Okay, so he's on fire. I know it's probably not good for him, but check this out. We have a fire extinguisher now. Let's go ahead and stop time real quick. I can get this thing in position. So, check this out. <laughs> on, hold still, buddy. Look at this. Look, we're uh, extinguishing him. See? We're actually saving lives today here in People Playground, which is something that we normally don't do. Also, we can do this. Uh, 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 oh, I don't know what's happening over on this side of the screen. So yeah, uh, we do have a extinguisher, which I'm pretty sure is gonna be used in many creative ways. Now, that's not the only item they've added here, but that is a fantastic item. I think I actually mentioned something about an extinguisher at one point. Huh, buddy, we're not done with you, so let's go ahead. Eh, you know, I really wish that would just tip over. All right, let's go. Uh, let's bring it back to life. There we go. All right, so you're not coming back, buddy? Huh, get, get, wait, this guy's a little stiff. Uh, there's another thing you can do here, which I think, yeah, you can break people's bones now. So check this out. So say this guy's leg here, we can go break bone, and it's broken. So right now, ideally, it's uh, actually, I think the life... Hold on, let's, let's yank that out real quick. There we go. All right, let's go. Break bound. No? 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 Okay, I feel like the life serum is strong in this one. But yeah, there's a break bone menu. Maybe we'll try it on another person here. Uh, let's go ahead and bring this one out here. There we go. So let's go. Break bound. Ah, oh, there we go. So that broke his back. So yeah, that's another thing that you can do. Can you unbreak bones? Men bone. So you can. There we go. Does it bring him back to life, though? I'm pretty sure they're still dead, technically. Uh, you know what? Does this still have any juice left in it? Um, let's hope that it does. All right, let's go. There we go. Oh, it might have been out. No, it looks like it's healing him. All right, so he's good. So, anyways, there's another item here. Let's go ahead and pull it out. We have spikes. So, most cases when you see, like, a spike pit or something in this game, uh, they're using the swords, but we actually have spikes that we can use. So, oh, those look deadly. Okay. So we can make our own little spike pit here. Uh, make them all kind of up and down there. There we go. Uh, put a couple more here. Oh, this is beautiful. So no telling what people are going to start creating with this. All right, so we got our spike pits. Let's go ahead and freeze them all real quick. All right, so let's go ahead, resume time here. All right, buddy. And we're going to fall. Oh, oh, okay. Those are a little more... Spiky, wait, do they not actually impale people? Hold on, rip that out real quick. Rip that. Uh, I need this. Uh, uh, come on, there we go. Does this actually work? All right, here we go. Drop. Oh, yeah, it definitely spikes them. You okay, buddy? Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go a little more this way. So, and we can we pull down? Oh, <laughs> I don't I don't know if we can exactly. There it goes. Okay, so yeah, the spike pits. Those are a thing. Uh, I'm also really looking forward to what else they're going to bring here. Uh, there's a metal rod. Was that always there? I don't know if that was there or not. I believe it was. So yeah, hopefully they'll bring up some uh, more melee weapons. Now as far as all the other objects, there's nothing new in the vehicles, nothing new in the uh, explosives, but in the uh, mechanisms, or machinery I think it's called, you're going to notice these little uh, dots here. These are triggers. So essentially they're, I guess, sensors? So you got like a motion detector, a metal detector, a life detector. Does that only work for people that are alive? A fire detector and a just a detector. Okay, I don't know exactly how these work, but I have a couple guesses. So let's go ahead. Let's grab a magnet here. So we got the magnet. Let's go ahead. Uh, we're gonna freeze this to the ground real quick. So we'll freeze it. 
Uh, let's move some of this other stuff out of the way, including the people. Nope, that's back over there. This is fine. So yeah, if you have this metal detector, is it the point that's aiming out? Is that is that what makes this work? I don't really know. Hold on, let's freeze it. So we should be able to put a wire here uh, that should, I think it's this one here, that should activate this if this is tripped. So with that being a metal detector, in theory, the android would trip it, right? Uh, hold on. Let's see if we can get you a little closer here. All right. Can, are you tripping this? Do, do you trip? This might not be how this works. Come on. Trip it, buddy. Trip the sensor. No, this isn't how this... You know, it's fine. Uh, let me figure out how this works real quick. You know, it probably would be good if we actually turned it on. Uh, that's always a step one in, like, IT. Like, turn it off, turn it back on, or at least make sure it's plugged in. There it goes. Okay, so that detects metal. So if I stick a human here, it doesn't turn it on. But if I stick the metal android in front of this, it now triggers that magnet. Actually, the human's blocking it. Human, get out of the way. There it goes. So yeah, it works. So you can have detectors for just about everything. Dude, we could totally make a magnet that sucks up an android army. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so here is my machine. So we have three sensors stacked up on each side. So that gives it kind of a nice, decent wall. Of course, you could stack them however you want. You can aim them however you want. But I think this is sufficient for this. So we have that. They're all hooked into three generators on each side. And then they hook into the uh, magnet in the middle. And then you have some spikes on it. So, yeah, this is going to work. So let's say you have an android army on their way uh, to attack you here. So we can stick these here. There we go. Let's stick some on the other side. Which, by the way, another feature, which I don't really... Is this really a feature? They added floodlights to some of these maps. So there's a little light up here. Can I interact with that? I don't think I can do anything with it. But do I have floodlights down here? That's weird. Oh, actually, I do. Okay, so yeah, you can have a, uh, a floodlight. That's another item. I don't really understand the point of that. And there's an activation transformer. Okay, so that activates... Oh, I know what that is. So if there's an electrical signal or, say, uh, electricity is, I guess, running through something, if it runs through that, it should activate it. Okay, so that's another thing uh, that I missed. But, anyways, let's go ahead. Actually, I don't want to activate all of this. I want to activate the sensors on each side. So we'll go uh, here. Let's go on. Oh, wait. On. Okay. On, on, uh, why aren't these not affecting? Okay, oh, there it goes, there it goes. It just took a little bit. Wait, why is this side not pulling in? There it goes, oh, yes! It works, it is laggy too. Oh, that is just like a big lightning bolt. So, that's how you use the new items. No telling how, like, ridiculous the creations are gonna get on, like, on the workshop with the triggers and all that. That is amazing. All right, I feel like we should deactivate. Oh, never mind. Nope, it's sucking them back in. So it spits the androids out, and then the triggers hit it again and suck them back in. Yeah, so every time it, like, it gets quiet, and then it pulses back up, and yeah, that is actually really, really cool. Huh. Okay, I feel like I should probably deactivate these. Hold on, deactivate the sensors. Let's turn them off. Turn them off. Cease fire. <laughs> We've done enough damage here. All right, give it a second. Let it blow off some steam. It is so laggy. All right, it's going to take it a moment here. Oh, oh, there it goes. I feel like it's shorting out. And actually, I think the android's being electrified here. It's actually keeping it powered up somewhat. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah, that's a, a basic machine using the new update here. So, let's go ahead... Let's just end it all. Let's uh, throw one of these energy vessels up here. Uh, you know, in theory, we could connect one of these to a sensor and set it off, too. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. And there we go. I think we've officially pretty much... Actually, the machine itself... Oh, it's frozen. That's why it didn't break. Uh, pull all this out of here. Are any of the androids still... Still active? Wait, is this one... Whoa! I don't remember them having red eyes for some reason. Han, do you still work? Wait. Wait. They're electrified. I think the whole fact that they're jumping, I think it's because of electricity. Yeah, they're not actually alive. Yeah, they're fried. We've done it. We fried the android army. Yep. <laughs> Stupid robots. 
So, there's another really kind of cool thing here, too. Let's go ahead and spawn in maybe this vehicle up here. So, when I drop it and when I run it into stuff and do all this, like this. So, obviously, you can see the vehicle is damaged. Another thing you can do, uh, you can actually... Wait, there's a break the engine? Oh, textures. I thought there was a repair option. Or either that or I'm missing it. Uh, is it next texture? Oh, you can change the textures on the vehicles now. Thought there was a there's a brake engine. You got parking brakes, reverse gears. Uh, maybe I'm just not seeing it. I thought there was like a repair button for these now. Oops, apparently we broke it. Oh well, that's fine. But yeah, there's a uh, menus for pretty much any item now, so that's pretty cool to see. And the fact you can change the textures. Wait, can we change textures on the uh, not the vehicles, the androids? Is that a thing now? No, you can still only just break the bones and ignite them. Uh, actually, I don't think you can break the bones on an android. Guess that makes sense, doesn't it? Alright, so for the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and check out some creations. So we have something called the Gravity Hammer. Wait, how does this... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so if I activate this, what happens? Whoa! This kind of reminds me of Thor's hammer. What the heck? Look at this. I have the power. Now, what does this mean? Is it just a shocking? It's this gravity hammer. So I was figured it was going to, like, slam down and take stuff out. But, I mean, it's definitely electrified. So, hold on. Does it, does it do anything? Okay, you know what? Maybe we need to have a human. Or, you know what? We probably should try this with the android, too. So what happens when you get too close to Thor's hammer here? Here we go, and... Zap! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, do they normally explode like that? Okay, hold on, let's try this again. Yep, okay. Do, 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 do. Yes, Thor's hammer. Fill the uh, power crushing you. Oh! Yes, I like this. You know, uh oh, almost broke Thor's hammer. <laughs> Thor's hammer is a little bit on the bloody side now. <laughs> that is cool. I want to create something. Wait, what's this down here? Hold on, is this a thruster? Uh, activate? No, can I? Uh, I don't know what that is. It kind of looks like a mini thruster. Uh, that might be one of the new pieces, actually. Hold on, let's see. What is that? Uh, not really sure. Potentially a trigger? Or it could just be a battery here. I think it's a battery. That's what it is. Okay. So, what does it do to an android? Let's go, whoop, and lift up Thor's hammer, and here we go. Yep, it just actually powers him up, makes him a little stiff, so you can go, zap, <laughs> zap, <laughs> and then, uh, wait, it lifts him a little bit. Look at this, it's attracted, hold on, see if I can get it to lift. It felt like it was pulling it up. All right, let's try smashing him again, Thor's hammer, yes, okay, is it? Yeah, it's doing work here. This is absolutely amazing. All right, and then the robot still gets... Oh, I've got humans stuck to this right now. All right. Oh, never mind. The robot died. Let's just set this right here. You can be my little uh, thing that holds the hammer. So, question is, let's compare here. On, Get out of here. All right, so say if we had the normal hammer. What kind of damage does it do compared to Ultra... Ow, I just hit him in the face. Sorry. What kind of damage does it do compared to the ultra-shocking Thor hammer? So let's go. See, that's pretty devastating, obviously. Kind of crush the back. And then you do this one, and it's just like, hey, this is Thor's hammer. Yep, way better. That is cool. I like how it just snaps right back, too. That, I like this creation a lot. What if we shocked a car? Does that do anything? Uh, hmm. It shouldn't make it go, because obviously it's a gas engine, but eh, we can surely hit it with it. Uh, there we go. We just punt it. That's awesome. Uh, I really like that creation. Definitely go check that out. All right, let's go ahead and find our next one here. I had another one. This one uh, feels like it's going to be laggy. This one's called the Ultra Fan Death. What? Wait. Wait, can I activate all these at once? Oh no. So, does this suck people in or what? Huh? Okay, no. Oh, okay. So, you put them below it and they go. Oh, he's got to be on the edge. 
All right, so we're gonna walk you over here. Do, 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 do. Oh no, I'm on the edge. No? Oh, let's just take a little. Oh, I was gonna say let's take a little off the top. All right, you know what we gotta do here? Huh? Oh, wait, it kind of levitates them here. Look, except when they get hit by uh, the parts of their comrades. Hold on, let's go. Whoop! No, no, no. Uh, you know what? Well, let's fill the room. Oh no! <laughs> This is how Komodo just breaks everything right now. Yep. Yeah, there are body parts flying. Yep, I don't... Uh, we're probably going to crash the game, actually. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like how this is kind of an enclosed room. Oh, we have colored the whole room. We painted it red. <laughs> I feel like I should clear this. By the way, Thor's hammer is flying through the air right now, shocking up body parts. That's a thing. Okay, let's clear everything here. Nice. Okay, so there's one more creation here that I actually wanted to check out. Uh, it's actually a house. So I'm curious. Oh, okay, that doesn't fall. So let's clear it. Uh, here? Maybe here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we've got a house. How protected is the house? So say you got a nice little roof over your head. And you've got one over here. Does it protect you any bit? What if you had a rail car fall on the house? Uh, whoa, okay. That, what the heck? Uh, oh, I managed to kill the person still. Hold on. This is a thick house. Wait, we could totally catch this house on fire. Oh, no, let's move that over there. You know, maybe we should get rid of that. Okay, well, can we catch the house on fire at least? It's wood, technically, so in theory, it's going to go up, and it's going to be amazing. So let's go ahead and spawn one of these bad boys in. You know, I'm assuming you can also hook the uh, hook the weapons up to triggers, too. I just now thought of that. All right, let's light the house on fire. There we go. All right, light this one on fire. So does it deteriorate and eventually break? Oh, that is bright. Holy man, that is really bright. Okay, maybe we should help him out a little bit. Spawn one of these bad boys in. It's kind of hard to see the extinguisher right now. All right, let's go ahead and try to put out one of the houses. Uh, this might take a little bit. There's a lot of stuff on fire here. Can I... Will this explode if I throw it in there? Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, probably need to put the person out too. Oh, let's put the person out. Okay, so that definitely didn't burn out. That actually went out because of the extinguisher. Uh, on. There we go. Okay, we're saving somebody. Definitely the other house is a lot more crispy, including the person. Okay, so we need to pull this person out of the fire. Uh, let's try not to lose any body parts here. Huh? Uh oh. Okay, that might have broken something. All right, so we need to save this person. Uh, let's go ahead and go life syringe. Okay, spawn it in here. Uh, okay, we're going to save you, sir. All right, here we go. Boom. Oh, okay. That is good. And look at that. We have saved somebody from the fire. Stop twitching. Okay. Is it taking a little bit? Oh, it looks like a fish. Uh, is it taking a little bit for this to work? Or Wait, ultra strength. Is that a new syringe? Why do I not remember seeing that syringe? Hold on, let's give you super... <laughs> Did the syringe just break them? Hold on. We can make these work together. Okay, here. All right, put that back. Okay. It's like a magnet. Okay. Nope. Doesn't work like a magnet, though. Uh, let's give you super strength, then. Okay. Oh, that didn't work. Sorry, I just stabbed you. Okay. Come on. All right. There's your super strength right there. Uh, I feel like this isn't going to work anymore. All right. Let's get a new uh, test subject. I got to test that out real quick. So, let's go ahead and go with the uh, ultra strength. Okay. All right. So, what does this do for you? Does this make you like Superman? There we go, right in the butt. Why do I feel like that hurt you? There we go. And he rises. So does super strength protect you from Thor's hammer? I'm gonna say no, but sure, let's go ahead and try this out. All right, turn it on. There we go. All right, so how does super strength work? Three, two, one. Okay. I feel like that might've been a little too much. Um, <laughs> definitely was a little too much super strength. I'm assuming you're supposed to use that in maybe, uh, lighter applications. Uh, let's go and save one. 
All right. So anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of People Playground. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. See, look, we're putting them back to life here. Kind of is all weird looking, but yeah, no, it's totally fine. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the update here. If you guys have any suggestions for future episodes, comment below. And we will see you guys next time on People Playground.